Good morning, everybody. This is Bruce from the garage, the Mystic Modeler. And uh, this is part, I believe, four. I believe it is part four of the Gourd Fork by Ravel 1 150 scale. Um, I just finished up step, just about done with step five. <coughs> it's going all together real nice. I've got um, some things to put on it yet, but I'm, it's, it takes a lot of time to get the deck work done. So uh, that's that's what I've been working on here. Here she is, and I'm gonna lift it up and show you the deck work that I've done. You can see all the deck work there. A lot of a lot of little painting, a lot of little things to put on. I'm still working on her. And uh, that's what's going on. I got a lot of uh, eyelets. I use these metal. I don't know if you can see them. I'm going to try to show them to you where you can see them. Right here, right down in here, you see the middle, metal eye hooks that I use or eyelets. Uh, that one's tough to see. I don't know if you can see the rest. Up in front, you'll see them here. And I'll show you what they look like. I know uh, I was watching Chris uh, at CP 101 uh, do his constitution. And I've been using these for years. And he talked about replacing the plastic eyelets um, with these. If you can see them. These are what he's talking about. And you just cut them to length. I leave them a little bit and, you know, drill the hole. You know, wherever I need them, wherever I need them, even if it's not a hole. If I, I, I want to pull some rigging over here, I've got about 40 of them I need to put in for the backstays and for all of the, uh, uh, for the backstays and stuff, I'll use Easy Line because that'll work. That'll work. I'll do a heavy duty Easy Line and then the rest I'll be using thread. But um, these are, these are great. I'll show you what they look like. They come in a package of 72. Their uh, eye pins. I get these at Michael's or any craft store should have them that has jewelry and things like that that make jewelry. But um, they're they're really nice to have. I use them on a lot of different things. I cut them, use them, however. But uh, the gourd fork's coming out pretty nice. You can see I put them in here at the bow. Right here, I put two in. You can see them. Maybe you can't. There you go. You can see on both sides because that's going to pull my bow. In front, I might put another one down in here. I know there's one that goes in there. So there, you know, there's a lot of detail to these sailing ships that uh, you just take your time. Like Chris says, just take your time and um, it'll come out great. You know when. Uh, I start feeling a little antsy after working on it for an hour or two. I just stop and walk away because it's not going to do you any good to rush through things. And uh, I normally I don't have other things going on. This is the only build I've got going. Um, I can't do multiple builds like I've told you before. Um, so that's what's happening there. Um, other things that are going on, um, just get a lot of paints and things, and it's uh, coming along pretty well. Frankie, I love the, your uh, clipper ships, always do. Um, today I know it's Firehouse Friday, I don't know what you got going on there, there's going to be a video. Uh, Vince, look forward to hearing from you. Um, Max, nice, uh, nice uh, build video that you put out. That was really nice. Um, I saw a couple of my my uh, uh, my Cuddy Sark is in there, and uh, the Hanley Page, and um, part of this build is towards the end, and. Uh, one of my Formula One race cars that I did uh, 
finish up the uh, Braun Honda. That came out really, really nice. Um, but the rest of the builds in there are just awesome. Just awesome stuff you guys do. All of this in the modeling community and helping each other out, I think, is really important. So uh, the weekend's upon us. Um, I know my daughter's coming in at the end of the month for about a week to visit. Um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting this thing rolling. I'm starting on the uh, midship that goes on the deck. So I got all these eye pins to put in, the railings. Um, the mast, I... Uh, there's a hole down in the bottom and I just put a paintbrush in there to make sure it it's dead straight you can you can feel it lock into it the hole at the bottom there it is dead straight so I, I might be building up the mass and painting them Detailing them out. I got a lot of work to do on that like uh, Charlie Mack did on his masks for the Constitution so You guys That's about it short video this morning let you know where I'm at with the gourd fork so um, Jerry congratulations Tampa Bay won the Stanley Cup. I know you're happy about that Johnny. I'll be talking to you soon um, Max up in New England um, I always love watching your stuff. It's it's really good. Um, Chris and Vince, thanks for all the advice that you always give me that it, uh, when I ask, um, and uh, it just makes me a better builder having guys like you around, Charlie, Frankie, Chris, and Vince. You guys always answer me when I ask a question. I really really do appreciate it. But um, that's where we're at. So I'm going to let you go. Have a great weekend. This is Bruce the Mystic Modeler from the garage. Friday morning at about 9.15. I'm going to get busy on this, finish up some things, and then um, have a good day. So be safe, guys.